Hey y'all, it's me Andrea with Sucks For You in Houston, Texas and I got a new plant bench, shelves, wood shelves and I'm super excited about it. I wanted to show you guys. I had shown y'all the other new bench we had built over there under the pergola in my last video and my husband was like, we need to have one that matches so that when you walk out the back door, you see this and I think it was a great idea. So he had someone come out and build it and I got to like put my feed back in, like say I wanted this offset rather than right under the other ones. I am so sorry, I'm constantly bonking that plant, but um, I've had fun like figure out which shell or which plants I wanted to put out here, which pots, and I like having like all mostly terracotta. Um, I'll probably do a little bit more rearranging. Yeah, I wanted to show you because of course I put some of my favorite plants on the shelf so I could look at them because I sit there on my computer working as often as I can. <laughs> this is my office. Um, <laughs> so this right here, this is Edith Colia Grandis and it is a monotypic species or yeah, um, meaning there's only one species in the Edith Colia, and that's Grandis. So basically, this is the only Edith Colia. And it's also known as a Persian carpet flower plant. Because the flower is insane, absolutely insane. It has beautiful patterns and colors like a Persian carpet, so, um, a Persian rug. And I had a friend over the other day, and they knocked this whole pot over, and it all fell out, and the pot broke, and I was biting my tongue, but luckily, um, I bought it back up and this long branch didn't, didn't break. There's some, there's some sad spots on there, but hey, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, and we can still be friends with that person. Yay! <laughs> um, down here, this is a really cool one. It is Pineocereus striatus. Yes, Pineocereus striatus. And it's, it's really long and awkward. Silly cactus, if you ask me, and I love it. And you can see it's got these really cool little. There's like stripes, and there's these, the little spines. And then I'm pretty sure the flowers like grow out of the top. So we will see, and I will let you know. Y'all will be the first to know <laughs> if it flowers. Um, I have a lot of my colonchos and euphorbias. Like, this is that, uh, Euphorbia Ritchie. Ritchie. And tons of pops. When I first got it, it was like just one little plant, of course. And it's so cool. It's really one of my favorites. Really, really, really love this. Look at all her pops. And leaves. And then I got this Euphorbia Trigona mint cream you see like the colors in it oh my gosh such a cool plant and this one was like this is one of those purchases that i i saw it at the nursery as i was checking out and i didn't buy it and i left and i got home and i started thinking about it and i got that in my car and i went back <laughs> to the nursery right before they closed and i brought it home and I have no regrets. It is so pretty. Yes, and then fuzzy colanchos. And this I love. First of all, I love the pot. It's terracotta, but it's, you know, and, and it's somewhat shallow, but it's not too shallow. It's pretty, you know, deep for, um, for its size. For a shallow pot, it's deep. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then what's going on in here? This is, this is a euphorbia. And I'm gonna look up the name and put it on the screen because I'm totally blinking right now. This is a hoodia, and this was a seedling. And this is the one that I treated for thrips with Everclear because alcohol, rubbing alcohol, was really hard to find, if not impossible. And it's so happy, and I love it so much. And it's like just, oh, it's so cute. So cute. So proud of this one. And then these two, these, this was a Euphorbia seedling, Euphorbia polygona. Long story short, 
I lost it in the freeze, but some of its little arms survived. And those are the arms that survived. So, and they're doing nice and big and strong. Doing a great job just growing. And it's just a miracle, really, honestly, that these two little pieces survived. So very happy about that. Flapjack, of course, and this is, this is a, an offset that I gave to my friend and it is now making like a ton of pups as well. And then this was a, this was a leaf propagation of um, Fred Ives, Craptivaria Fred Ives. And it's doing great. And this is Echeveria lilacina, which is like the slowest thing to grow ever, but it's doing happy. And doing happy, it's happy. <laughs> and it's really sweet. And then this is a new, Edition. This is a, a, a old man cactus, the Peruvian old man cactus, Espostoa lantana, lanata. And I should put labels on my plants. <laughs> Getting old, starting to forget. But we got this at a nursery. Um, it's like down south from here, it's on the way to Galveston. It's not terribly far, it's probably like 35, 40 minutes from Houston. And it's a nursery called Jimbo's and you guys need to get down there because they have some really amazing stuff, really amazing prices. Look at that plant, look at that. Look at that, it's gorgeous and it's like so clean. And this was $25, $25 for all this cactus. Gorgeous, right? I'm telling you. Beautiful. And who else? Oh, I think I showed you all this. Yeah, maybe not. Um, this I got at the last local Houston Cactus and Succulent Society sale. And it's really cool because it's a beautiful bonsai. You can see all the, sh the, the, the streaks and stripes on the trunk. And the leaves are fragrant. They're you know, again, it is a plectranthus, so like the, you know, Cuban oregano or whatever, the other one's called uh, the uh, Vix plant, which is plectranthus tomentosa. Um, this is plectranthus ernestii, and while the leaves aren't as succulent as the other plectranthus that I have, they're still fragrant. And it makes really pretty little purple flowers, but it's done flowering for now. So, that's fun. Um, who else have you guys not seen? Well, here's a little update on... Look at this. Isn't that cool? This is a Euphorbia Spectabilis. In this really awkward <gasps> pot. Like, what well, I heard that pot, that, that was in fall. And I honestly, I thought it was this one. But then when I came out, it was that one. And I was like, oh my gosh. But... <laughs> didn't lose much. Here's some of the cuttings. And this thing is sharp. It's not like your average stapelia where the little pokies aren't that pokey. This one is bitey. And uh, what's in here? This big old jar. It's like, I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna use it for something and I don't know what. And I tried doing like a little kind of terrarium thing, but I don't know. I just neglected it too much. But it has been great for growing these little um, Dremiopsis kirkii leaf propagations. I showed you guys that before too. It is really weird. One of these leaves broke and around like right where it was broken all these little tiny bulbs started to emerge and that forms the bulb of the main plant. I can show you guys that real quick. That is the Dremiopsis kirkii, and it's maybe it's like giant squill or something like that, but it's really cute. Very, very chill plant. Easy, easy, easy. As long as you water it and don't burn it or let it freeze. 
<laughs> uh, this one right here, this little pack of podium. Uh, my son picked it out like five years ago from a, the local society sale. And I definitely struggled to keep it alive. And I thought I'd lost it, but here it is. It's branching. It's got a ton of little character. And I have it in, this is another euphorbia and it looks like our crown of thorns but it's not then I'll have to look up the name and put it on the screen for you guys um, yeah that was one of them that I had picked out and so I put them together so they can be buds all right we're keeping the focus on this bench because you know I can go on and on and on but I wanted to keep this video pretty short and sweet <laughs> you guys are like yeah right <laughs> you know me too well all right, we'll have a lovely weekend shooting this on a Friday and I'm so excited about the weekend because we get to sleep in. And thanks for watching. Annie, 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 Annie. She, she refuses, stubborn little girl. Annie, Annie, come here. Hey Annie, can I see you on the video? Nanny, Annie, Annie. Annie, come see. Annie. Yeah, she's not camera shy at all. She's just stubborn. Annie. Annie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's her sister. <laughs> and this is like Jay and Silent Bob here. She hardly ever makes a sound. She won't speak on command. That guy, on the other hand. Oh my gosh. Loudest thing, loudest thing I know. You're just the loudest thing I know. I love you. Say bye. Sit. Oh. Say bye. Oh. Thanks for oh. bye. Oh. Say bye. Say oh. bye. Niji. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Hello.